Okay, our regular weekly updates uh, about AI, and there are a lot of topics this week. Learning to ask AI the right questions is the key to success by Jill Kramer, and uh, she's from McKinsey. Anyway, the first is about Claude 3.5, and uh, it was recently released, and as you see on the crowdsourced arena, it's on the second place overall, second place on English only, but if you look at the coding, and by the way, you can select a type of uh, questions, uh, and uh, if you select coding, you see Claude is actually the first. So if you need help with writing code programs, <laughs> you can use Claude. It's above G GPT, above Gemini. It's, it's quite amazing. Uh, anyway, and, and it's uh, cheap and it's fast. This is great progress. Okay, next is uh, access to Gemini from Google Workspace. And again, th this is quite amazing. So this, this is my workspace, right? And if I click here, I will get Gemini and I can ask questions. So why is the sky blue, right? The standard uh, question. And uh, well, it should answer me. And it works right here and I can generate images, uh, whatever. It's, it's a lot of functionality. I don't know why it's so slow. Yeah, the sky appears blue because of uh, Rayleigh's scattering. So you see, uh, you can use it in email. You can use it in all uh, Google workspace. It is already released at least for paid uh, customers. I'm a paid customer. Okay, next is, uh, what else here? Yeah. Uh, next, some miscellaneous news. Uh, Evolutionary Scale, it's a company, a biological startup, raised 142 million, and they released foundation models uh, allowed to discover novel fluorescent green protein. DeepMind paper, effective training using a joint example selection. We show that uh, picking good batches of data is more important than selecting data points independently. Small high quality data sets can be bootstrapped to leverage much larger uncurated data sets. So they can uh, use uh, much less electricity to achieve SOTA results uh, by improving the training. Okay, uh, Hugging Face upgraded its open LLM leaderboard. And uh, this is the example of leaderboard. Uh, the scales, the columns now all different. They are trying. Uh, to um, beat this challenging problem uh, they have because they have contamination of training data and many people, me included, don't trust uh, their leaderboard anymore. So now they changed. Uh, let's see. On the top, uh, there is Quen 2, 72B. Okay, uh, Rabbit R R1 had a security problem. Apparently, uh, there was some API keys hard-coded in their code. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, video upscaling from Korea, uh, very interesting thing. They are known for image generation and upscaling, and now they uh, moved into video upscaling, making uh, very nice uh, looking videos. Okay, Google Gemma, uh, it's a series of uh, several models, 2 billion parameters, 7 billion, 9 billion, and 27 billion. So now they release the bigger ones, the 27 billion and uh, 9 billion parameters. Uh, next is uh, Sohu Chip. So this is really, really interesting. So this is a startup. They raised $120 million and they make uh, chips which produce state-of-the-art performance so they can achieve uh, 500 kilotokens per second. So if you take a server with eight of those boards, it can substitute 160 NVIDIA H100s. This is absolutely amazing um, open source ai startup stability ai um, you know there was a lot of problems with them uh, ahmad mostak who was a ceo and well creator of the company has left uh, there was a turmoil uh, because of no funding but now they have new ceo and they have new funding uh, well it's a great team it's a great company uh, they are from england and they are uh, creators of uh, stable diffusion and uh, working with images, creating like text to image and many other models. 
uh, in blue, training 70 billion parameter model to match outperform GPT-4. So it's a research paper. It's very interesting uh, achievement. Uh, next, uh, researchers at Amazon have trained a new LLM text-to-speech. It's called BASE TTS text-to-speech with less than billion uh, parameters. But for this kind of model, it's actually a big model. It's the largest text-to-speech model. Okay, Anthropic Cloud AI projects. So when you go to Anthropic interface, they now have this project area where you can accumulate pieces of text or images and then uh, give it all to the model to use as uh, input. You can also share the projects. So it's just more convenient and collaborative environment. Uh, next, OpenAI trained a model called Critic GPT to catch bugs in GPT-4 code and uh, to improve how it is uh, being trained and uh, the, the feedback. Uh, interesting. So, model helps to improve model. Low energy LLM. This is really, really interesting. We spoke already about Microsoft research where they start using uh, what's called ternary numbers. So instead of having uh, like 32-bit uh, numbers or 16 or 8-bit numbers or 4-bit numbers, they actually have only uh, like 1.5-bit. <laughs> so because one bit, it's 0 or 1. And here they have like 3. Uh, what's interesting is that if you're using those ternary numbers, you can effectively avoid multiplication. So you don't need uh, matrix multiplication. And because of that, you literally can use 50 times less energy. And if the model becomes big enough, the performance of model trained and uh, like inference using those numbers actually approaches the, the regular model. So this approach may have great future because of much less electricity required, right? So from regular decimal to ternary numbers. Google Vertex AI for enterprise. Uh, Google did a lot of progress with the Vertex. Vertex existed for last three years, uh, but uh, they adding a lot of features, which by the way, they doing a great job. Like for example, uh, Google search. I'm, I'm using Gemini and I like it because it remembers it knows what Google knows. It's a paid version, right? Gemini in the browser. Um, but here you, you can have it through API, you can have it through your business, and they have a lot of integrations. So it's a great tool for uh, enterprise, uh, Google Vertex. Uh, next, uh, Amazon uh, Titan, and actually they have a new thing uh, called Olympus, new model, and a new chatbot called Metis. And they will be uh, released, uh, for, well, maybe in a few months, uh, to substitute the title which was released in November last year. Uh, another thing is OpenAI ChatGPT on Mac OS. So you can follow this link, download the app, and uh, you can press option space to activate it and ask any questions, or you can click the icon, of course. So this is a new feature on Mac operating system. Okay, 75 of workers are using AI already. It's becoming rare to find people not using AI. Even small productivity boosts from AI is highly valuable for busy people and startups. So this is true. REAC fine-tuning outperforms larger models. Well, this is not a new theme. We covered it several times before that a small model, but fine-tuned for specific REAC application uh, would... Uh, uh, perform better than big expensive model and uh, it will be much uh, cheaper and faster but you need to do fine tuning uh, so it requires some extra work multiple ways to extend context length okay this is really funny because when we first saw that you can have a model with 200 or 500 or million uh, tokens it was like a record it was unbelievable but now there is a multiple ways of achieving this and people are fine-tuning existing models left and right to achieve like million or half a million or 10 million <laughs> context length uh, it's becoming very uh, common uh, google translate now supports 243 languages i just thought it's interesting nvidia synthesia 2.0 full body ai avatars this is the link you can you can read the article Okay, huge 240 terabytes uh, tera tokens data set. 
So if I know where it was uh, 15T, and it was 48 terabytes of data, and here we have 240T. So it's huge, huge uh, data set. Andrei Karpathy on GitHub started a new course um, about uh, AI, LLMs, models, and so on. He just started it. It's an empty skeleton. I guess over the next several months, it will be filled with content. But I recommend you to, to follow Andre. always creating uh, excellent stuff. Uh, Chrome Canary, uh, this is interesting. So this is uh, not stable, it's not production yet, but it's uh, under development. But this is a version of Chrome which runs Gemini locally. And it runs it very, very fast. So if I, uh, let me go to this Twitter post because it shows it real time. And just look at this window, you see? So it's, uh, it, it's it's okay maybe it's not that interesting okay yeah you, you see how fast it changes okay uh, next uh, uh, Mira Murati so she's CTO of OpenAI and um, she had an interview where she spoke about OpenAI and one of the things was GPT-5 so she told that no it will not be released this year and it may not even be released next year maybe only at the end of 2025 or early 2026 but they claim it will be very smart. Apple and Microsoft move towards efficient small language models for local on-device operation. Uh, so this is a trend, a smaller model. Uh, AMD uh, MI300X, amazing thing. So it is either a little bit slower or cheaper or much faster than uh, in NVIDIA. And uh, this is the results for some tests. So you see these two are uh, um, AMD and these two are NVIDIA. There are some differences in what they're running, uh, which models and on which servers. But overall, this new model outperforms H100. Uh, at times, the MI300X was five times faster than H100, and at worst, it was roughly 40% faster. So you see how you can put eight of them in one server, and then uh, they will have another um, chip, MI325X, which will take on H200. Uh, so uh, now we have AMD competition uh, to NVIDIA. It is comparable performance and it is cheaper. So, okay. Uh, next, uh, uh, PDF uh, Plumber. So it's a Python module to extract uh, tables from PDFs. So this is example of code. Well, you can uh, Google for it and uh, it looks like it's a good tool. Don't use LangChain. Uh, I explained it uh, on the previous uh, presentation and we removed uh, LangChain from all our code. But this is another Twitter post which explains that LangChain uses uh, abstractions on top of abstractions and actually makes your code needlessly complicated. Just write API calls and add a vector database instead. Uh, so yeah, that's exactly what I was telling and now we have independent opinion. Okay. Um, Para LLM achieves huge speed on MacBook. So it, it, it uses M MLX uh, library and with some changes uh, achieves this speed. So you, you, you can go and read this blog. This is example of uh, the text, but um, I already covered before that uh, M MLX library on Mac is, is great. And uh, yes, uh, next is a uh, mixture of agents, uh, MOA in 50 lines of code. So this is uh, GitHub, this is a Twitter explaining the architecture. This is actual code, uh, which you, you, you can reproduce. Um, okay, next is uh, 15 uh, life and work principles from Jensen Huang. So Jensen Huang is a CEO of NVIDIA, right? And before NVIDIA, he was literally cleaning toilets and uh, washing dishes. So he went all the way uh, up and he uh, um, has some principles which he expressed in multiple interviews. And Peter Young uh, put together this list of uh, principles. Uh, 
which uh, Jensen repeated over and over again in different places, so it may be useful to go through them. I will not uh, go through them uh, right now. Uh, next is uh, information about uh, tech uh, layoffs, and it just show that although overall it's much less, but if you look at number of employees laid off uh, last year and this year, in June, they about the same. I mean, they're, they're low numbers, but they about the same. In January, there was a big difference, but now it's about the same. Okay, um, that's it. This is me. Thank you.